So I don't know if this guy was drinking and tweeting, which we don't condone at the Fowler Show. But this guy is the former head of South Carolina's Republican Party, and he went pretty crazy on some rants on Twitter about transgender people and the people who support them. This guy's name is Todd Kincannon. He tweeted this week that there are people who respect transgender rights and there are people that think you should all be put in a camp. That's me. He further opined that transgender people are sick freaks who should be locked up in mental institutions and their care paid for by the state. He thinks that this shows his compassion for these sick freaks. Are you disturbed yet? There's more? That's it. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> um, Amer- How are these people like I'm running almost, our politics? It's unbelievable. I'm almost speechless. Um, but the fact that, you know, if we're in this quote-unquote post-racial society, like um, Anton Scalia says, and, or this post-segregate... Seg- uh, I can't even say the words, but with this post society that's based off of bigotry and hatred and segregation that we wouldn't see republican of party officials say stuff like that yeah i mean and the thing that's so interesting to me is like you know we've heard a lot of flack coming from the right this week about and and in the weeks prior in the shutdown about the language that the left is using you know maybe we're they're using too much like violent imagery alan grayson had the kkk comment Saying that he believes that transgender people should be put in a camp is way more offensive than anything that I've heard in the last month coming from, you know, the left. I just don't even know where we go from here. Is South Carolina beyond repair? Uh, No, I mean, because I think there's a new emerging majority in a lot of these places. So you have these people... Who will hold on, and I hate the president said this, but the president said, you know, people who will, hold, you know, when they realize that their power base is being threatened, they'll hold on to rib guns or they'll hold on to racism. And these individuals, lots of that say these things, and a lot of folks, members of the Tea Party, um, not all, but a lot of them, they know that their power is weaning because of the new emerging majority. Waning. What did I say, weaning? <laughs> waning, excuse me. Um, there's a new emerging majority, and that emerging majority is. Black folk, black people, brown folks, LGBTQ folks, low income people, women, and if those individuals can stay together, especially on the progressive side, take themselves out the silos and say we're going to work together to really create community change and real change, we'll see the we'll see all these elected officials start to disappear slowly but surely. I mean, I think that, and that's why the Republican Party is becoming a regional party at best. Yeah, running rate. on a platform, like, it's just a bad idea to run on a platform of limiting people's civil rights. Like, I think that there are some fundamental disagreements between the Republican and Democratic Party that make sense why some people would believe one thing and others would believe the other. But I think that as Americans, it should be pretty clear that everyone should have equal rights. Like, that's not really a platform. It's just disturbing. 